Hey guys, Chris from AxeFX Tutorials here, and in this video I want to show you how to export a preset and upload it to the Fractal Forum. So it's actually really simple. Just go to your edit program, and in this video we're using the FM3, so I'm using FM3 Edit, of course. Then all you're going to do is click Preset Menu and go to Export Preset. You'll get the Export Preset dialog here, and this is just where you're going to save the file on your computer. So I'm on a Mac, it looks like this. If you're on Windows, it'll be your Windows Explorer. But this is just saving a file like you would any Word document or anything else to a specific folder. And I'm just going to put it on the desktop for now. You can put it in any folder you want. If you have like a backup folder or a problem preset folder, you can create that and save it there. So hit Save. And that's the export part, super simple. Now in this video, we used an FM3, but the process is exactly the same with all other hardware using their corresponding edit software. So I showed an FM3, but this is the same for the AxeFX3, AX8, FX8, AxeFX2, and so on. From here, we want to upload that file to the forum. So I've already started a thread in the FM3 section of the forum, because that's where I'm experiencing the problem. And all you want to do is click and drag the file that you just saved onto the forum post. So here I have my file, I'm clicking and dragging, I'm still holding the mouse down, and all you do is let go right on this post area, and it'll upload, and when you're finished with your post, just hit post thread, and this will upload as an attachment with that post and appear right there so everyone else can download it. This drag and drop method also works if you're replying to a thread. It's not just for new threads. If you're replying to a thread because someone later asked you, oh, can you post the preset file? Just hit reply and drag it right in the same way. Now, why would you want to upload your preset file? Well, the forum is mostly text-based and sometimes it's hard to describe what you're experiencing just with text. So uploading the preset file really helps because we can see exactly what you're seeing and look for any problems that we may find. Also, some issues might have a bunch of different solutions and it really depends on the specifics of your situation. So uploading the preset file can show us exactly what you're seeing, but also remove a ton of variables from the troubleshooting process. In this example, I'm saying the delay block doesn't make sound, right? It could be a bunch of things. It could be the delay mix parameter. It could be the level parameter. On some delay types, the right side of the delay is phase reversed. So if you run it in mono, they'll cancel out and you can't hear your delay. You know, there's a bunch of things that it could be, even in this one situation. So uploading the file really takes out a bunch of variables, again, because we can see exactly what's going on. And let's say I posted this thread and I say, hey, the delay block doesn't make sound. Now, as someone trying to help out, I could look at this text post saying, hey, my delay block isn't making sound, and I could be thinking all of those things. But once I load the preset that the user uploaded, I can see, oh, look, the delay block isn't connected. It's not the mix, it's not the level, all that's fine. That would be my first guess. It's just not even connected. So having the preset file, loading it on my FM3 in this example, I can exactly see what's going on and say, oh, look, it's not connected. You just need to connect the delay block to the grid, to the output block, so you can hear it, problem solved, in like five seconds, right? Without the preset file, there'd be a ton of back and forth with posting. I would ask, oh, is your mix level correct? And I would have to wait for them to post, and then they would post, yes, it's correct. All the settings are correct. And then I have to ask another thing, how's your guitar plugged in? Do you hear other blocks? What, you know, a ton of things. But with the preset file, I saw immediately what the problem was. Now you might say, oh, I could have posted a screenshot just to show that. Yeah, in many situations, a screenshot of the layout would work as well. But a lot of times the answer lies in the parameters itself. So just a screenshot of this might not solve the issue. And even doing a screenshot with this might not show the correct page that has the problem in it. So that's why uploading the preset really, really helps in almost every single situation. Now, sometimes your issue might be occurring on all presets, and I've seen that a lot. Hey, can you upload the preset file so we can see what's going on? Oh, but it happens in all presets. Well, it might seem to you that it's not necessary to upload the preset file just because it's happening in all presets, but again, having at least one preset from you, if you have the trouble, can really help us solve it by, again, eliminating a bunch of variables. There's been many times where someone says, hey, it's happening in all presets, and I ask for a preset file, and they don't do it, and eventually they do upload a preset file, and it turns out it was all of their presets because of a setting in all the blocks in all their presets. So once they uploaded that file, I looked at it, I say, oh, do you do this in all your presets? They say yes. And I say, oh, that's the reason there's a problem. And they're like, oh, I didn't know. You know, it's fine. But it's always good to upload a preset, even if you don't think that might hold the solution. 
The way I see it is this. If you're having an issue with something, you don't know the solution or else you wouldn't be asking. So if someone asks for the preset file, it might not make sense to say that's not the solution because you don't know what the solution is. So uploading the preset file can help in almost every situation, even if you don't think it would help. Again, it can eliminate a ton of questions back and forth. We can see exactly what's going on. And let's say you upload the preset file and that isn't the issue. Well, well cool. We can check that off the list as we're trying to help you, and we don't have to look at that. We can start looking at some of the global settings, your I.O. settings, or something like that. But it really helps if you upload that file, we can start checking things off the list and pinpointing where exactly the solution may be. Now, a note on uploading preset files. If you've purchased a preset from someone, you know, someone selling their own preset so you can match Metallica or whatever, if you've purchased a preset, please don't upload that file publicly. Even if there's a problem with that file, if you upload it, you're giving away for free something that someone else sells. So if you've paid for the preset, don't just upload it publicly like I showed. If you are having problems with the preset that you purchased, I would suggest contacting the person who made that, who you bought it from, and seeing if they can help you out with that, just so you're not sharing a paid preset publicly to everyone. Okay, and that's it. It's super simple to export and upload a preset to the Fractal Forum if you need a little help. Just remember to click Preset, Export, that'll go to a folder on your computer, then drag that file onto a forum post, and you're all set.